Ah, oh, will I ever get it? The entire train has disappeared. I will not move from here. It's a scandal. Don't touch anything, please. A fake train. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Here it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham Station. This suitcase contains my archives. We can consult with it if needed. It is for...
rusted, but it still works. This road should go in the same direction as the railway. A funny character. And he is not an Englishman. Hmm. This scent is familiar to me. But in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations into one picture. A greenish-brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo. You already know the name of this man? Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Turrent, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too.
This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. A greenish-brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveller or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. Newspaper articles on horse racing, hurdles, steeplechase and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Betting slips for horse racing. Bet. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. A telegraph. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. This post bag belongs to the station master. The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. 
And where did you work before that? I was working in Nottingham. But I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction, but it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master. It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? 